So imagine there is a lift. This is a lift which is accelerating with acceleration a upwards. And this acceleration I don't know how much it is. Okay, okay let me give it 10 meter per second. So, upwards but okay. And there is a person inside. And this person he drops a coin from here at a height of 10 meter at time 0. Or well, let's say 30 meter. So at a height of 30 meter, this height is 30 meter, he drops a coin at time 0. Question is, after what time? The coin hits the floor of the lift. So how do I find this time taken? Now you know that time taken is going to be same in all frame of reference. So it doesn't matter unless you do Einstein's relativity. But we are doing class 11 syllabus. So forget about Einstein's relativity right now. So we are only going to consider those velocities where the time taken is same for all frame of reference. So when they ask time, we can do this problem from either ground frame or we can do the problem from lift frame. If you do this problem from lift frame, it will be very easy because if you do the problem with lift, with respect to lift frame, then you will not show the lift moving, right? Because if you are the observer inside the lift, you will not see the lift moving. Instead, you will see outside things are going down maybe, but you will not see yourself moving up, right? You will not see the lift going up. So, in this frame, the lift will have no acceleration, so rest. However, everything now should be measured with respect to lift. So, this person is not going to move. You will see the coin here at time 0. And when you release the coin, the coin reaches the floor after some time. So, that time we want. So, what is the displacement as seen by this person? Obviously, this person sees this much displacement, right? So, that is 30. So, relative displacement is 30 meter. R means I am doing with respect to lift. Okay, so it is relative. It is not the displacement with respect to ground. Now, what is the initial velocity? Since the coin is dropped in his frame, so when he will see the coin, it is at rest, right? Initially. So, initial relative velocity is 0. What about acceleration of the coin with respect to lift? Be careful about this. The formula for this is acceleration of coin with respect to ground, right? Minus acceleration of lift. This is formula. While substituting, we have to be careful with direction. Since coin is falling freely, there is no contact with anything. Coin's acceleration from ground frame will be g only free fall, right? So, this will be plus 10 because I am taking down positive when body comes down. Lift acceleration is 10 up, remember. So, I have to write minus 10. Be very careful. So, this will give you 20. So, after knowing the displacement, initial velocity, acceleration, we can find time taken by using the formula S equal to ut plus half a t square. But since we are applying this formula with respect to lift, everywhere we have to understand it is relative quantities. So, what is the relative displacement? 30. Relative initial velocity? 0. Acceleration relative is 20 into t square. So, 2 tens are, so t square will be 30 by 10. So, t will be root 3 seconds. So, that would be the answer, right? Now, suppose same problem we want to do from ground frame and not from the lift frame. Then, how will we approach? Well, from ground frame, you have to show the lift also moving, remember. So, at time 0, let us say this is the lift and the person has dropped the coin at this point of time here. It is still at his hand till now. 
Now, after time t, when the coin reaches the floor, remember the lift is going up, so the lift will reach somewhere here. Isn't it? The man will be here. And the coin will be on the floor now. So now if you look carefully, when you see from the ground, after time t, the displacement of the coin is this much. This is the displacement of coin. And the lift itself has moved up. And when something moves 2 meter up, every part moves 2 meter, right? So this bottom part of the lift has moved some distance, which is the displacement of the lift. And this was the height from where the person dropped the ball, right from the floor of the lift. So now, how will you connect these displacements? So, S of the lift must be this height plus S of the coin. Now, what is the velocity of the lift at this moment? I don't know. Let us assume U. So, at T0, remember the coin was still on his hand, right? So, at that point, coin also will have that velocity only, okay? So, displacement of lift will be initial velocity into t plus half into a of the lift t square equal to h plus. Displacement of coin, coin also has same initial velocity as the lift because till that point they were together, right? So, u into t but now coin has acceleration g down. So, minus half g t square. Why minus? Because from ground frame you see the system going up. You see the coin going up, right? Because the lift was going up. Understand that very important. So while going up, I take down negative. So minus. You can see ut you can bring here and cancel. And you can bring this half g this side. So you get half a l t square plus half g t square. So you can take half and t square common a l plus g. Right, so here already sign we have taken care. So half time square. We don't know A L was 10, G was 10, H was 30. So T square will be 30. This is 20 by 2, 10. So you'll get same answer. 